Hi guys! In our first example about heat of reactions in calorimetry, we're gonna go through a multiple choice question just to show you and sort of test your knowledge about the different uh, facts about heats of reaction. So in this question, two aqueous solutions at room temperature are mixed in a coffee cup calorimeter. So you know what a calorimeter is, it's, um, it's an instrument that is used by scientists or by students in a lab in order to measure the temperature of an isolated system. So in this case we have two aqueous solutions at room temperature mixed in a coffee cup calorimeter. The reaction causes the temperature of the resulting solution to fall below room temperature. So this means that the actual temperature of the, uh, of the system decreased. So the, the water inside, the solution inside the coffee cup calorimeter decreased from room temperature to a level below room temperature. So which one of the following statements is true? The first one, energy is leaving the system during the reaction. So when we say leaving, when we say energy is leaving the system during the reaction, energy can, be, can leave in two ways, either as work or as heat. So if we say energy is, is leaving, this means we're going to sort of have an exchange of heat between the system and the surroundings, which means that you will sense an increase in temperature of the water. So the water temperature will increase because we are exchanging heat and we're actually allowing heat to leave the system. But we already know that this is not true. So we know that the system, the resulting solution decreased in temperature and did not increase. So this one is false. The products have a lower potential energy than the reactants. So Potential energy is an energy that you have in yourself. It's stored inside you. So when we say that a product has higher potential energy than the reactants, this means they require energy in order to, to have this energy stored in them. Now, in this case, the products have a lower potential energy than the reactants. So lower potential energy, if you remember the graph showing exothermic and endothermic reactions this is energy this is energy you have over here and this is time this is reactant side over here reactants and this is products so this is the level of potential energy that a reaction has this represents an exothermic reaction in which you start off with reactants having high potential energy and as the reaction goes forward you release the energy and the final products will have a lower potential energy than uh, the reactants. So this is in case of exothermic reaction. So now I'm going to show you endothermic reactions. This is the product, this is the reactant. So you could see here that, again, this is potential energy and this is time. And you could see here, in, in this case, in the case of endothermic, the products will have a higher potential energy than, compared to the reactants. And this is because the, the, the reaction itself requires 